I'm back with another haul. Um, I do not have the bag for these three anymore. However, these um, the haul will be from Sephora and from Hermones. Um, Hermone is kind of like it's like some sections of like you know shop right stop and shop but it's not a grocery store you know how you have the aisles for like the hair products the skincare um you got the travel kits the, the travel products that you need the travel size products um the pads tampons is that kind of a section not section but that kind of like a store so it's Pretty much that but besides the food aspect so that's what i got these three from i actually feel like i want to do a lot more hauls and reviews from hormones because they do have quite a lot of products there that i would like to do it like to do from so these three will be a head start i'll show you guys what i got and then i got some stuff from sephora i actually honestly had not gone in a long time not a long time but i have not went in a while to sephora i think this is like the second time i'm second or third time i'm going to sephora in the last almost two and a half three years now and mainly a lot of stuff if you know it's from a lot of my hauls or and or reviews you have noticed a lot of my things are that i've been doing was from ulta so normally for me pre-pandemic it was the other way around i would get a lot of stuff from sephora and not from ulta but then I realized that, not realized, but then for me, Ulta was a lot more closer than Sephora. Right now, Sephora is a lot more closer than me, but it's inside of um, Kohl's. And they recently just put it inside Kohl's. Um, but I would actually like to go to the actual Sephora store. Um, I don't know, that's just me. So let's get to it. Let's go to the haul. So most of it is skincare there's probably a little bit that is makeup products um the ones that i got from hormones i never actually heard of hence why i want to go more in detail and more hauls from and reviews from um uh, hormones um where i where i live the hormone hormones calls me h-a-r-m-o-n-e s is right next to bath and body works and apparently so i don't know if they're like a sister company or what but I can actually use the Bath and Body Works coupon at Hormones as well. And Hormones have their own coupons. So, yeah. I'm just saying you guys know. So, the first one is from Fortify. That, that's the company's name. This is Natural Germ Fighting Skincare. Powered by, powered by Zeolite. It's hydrating and protecting uh, facial, facial skin. Facial sheet mask. I don't know where the skin came from. So again, I will do a review on it. Um, from what I heard recently, if you have dry skin, um, or dry on the dry end, then a uh, hydrating mask would be a good idea. If your skin is more oil on more on the oilier side, then a clay mask would be good. Um, but then at the same time, I feel that like clay mask does help in terms of cleaning out the pores. Um, but if you have dry skin, I personally experienced this. I don't know if it's I don't know how other dry people with dry skin would feel, but with me, I do notice that with the clay, my skin does dry out even more. And the rosé, it's not the rosacea, but I do have rosacea, but my skin just flares up a lot um, with the redness. But it kind of, it cools down after a while. The next one, next two are from Rael, Rael Beauty. This one's Collagen C, so it's vitamin C, I think, plump plus smooth facial sheet masks. This one's a vitamin C, brighten and glow. So I am going to start with maybe if I have to use this three back to back at one, two, three. That's how I'm going to go and use those. Just my opinion. I do have some eye masks that I'm using as well. But anyways, the next one that I'm doing haul from is Sephora. I didn't want to do a separate video because you can see I'm still in on uh, within the four to five minute range of the video, and I don't like it being too short. These are another three skincare. It's from Dr. Jart Plus. I actually never used this um, company before, but I had a, heard a lot of reviews about it. The one thing I do know is that one day whenever I go to South Korea, Seoul or wherever in South Korea, I know they have so many skincare companies, well, stores that they sell a lot of skincare products. I actually want to go there one day and then just roam around those 
stores didn't buy a lot of those products, which probably would be, a, you know, like mesmerizing. But these are all the Cairo rubber product ones. It's that rubber face one. Again, I never used Dr. Jar Plus. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. This one is moisturizing hyaluronic acid, sooth soothing alatone. Um, these two are, well, all three of them are like two steps. Um, this one is vitamin, brightening vitamin C. So I think I will kind of like alternate between all six of these products. I'm going to see how I'm going to go about Obviously, I want to use a brightening towards the end, so I think I probably might use the vitamin C ones first, and this one, like in the beginning, these three, maybe go with the soothing one, and then use the two, which is for hydrating and moisturizing. If I do like these, I think I'm going to continue buying more of these, but like I mentioned, I want to try other products from Hormones first before I jump and get back onto these products again so this is just this is just my skincare aspect i think in between i think before i jump into this i think i may want to do the clay mask first just in case to clean out any of my pores in between just in case and then jump into these um i am kind of trying to be more up to date on my skincare products i did start using the new um toner um, as well, I'm going to do a review on it once I pass a certain time frame with that. So you guys can get a review on that as well. And hopefully this should help out a lot with my skin. Um, since your skin does need a lot of hydration to begin with. Now moving forward to the last part, which is basically the lip liners that I got. Um, these are the three lip liners that I got. It is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um... I will do a separate video on that just for the swatches. I don't know if I want to get something else first and uh, some other lipsticks and stuff or something and then do the swatches or just do this separately on its own as swatch videos. But I don't know. I do not want to do it in this video because this is just specifically a haul. But then again, if I do it in a separate video, then um, there's only three of them, then it's going to be pretty quick and short. Well, it's two lip liners and one lip gloss. Um... So I'm going to see how this is going to work out. Just my opinion. Um, so let's see. If I do buy something else, I will do um, swatches all together. If not, then um, I'm going to do swatches of this on its own. It may be relatively short, but oh well, does it matter? Not really. At least I'm going to show, be showing it to you guys. So um, other than the fact that I'm going to do a review on, this pro on these products individually, well, the six skincare products, let me know if you want me to try something else out. If you know about hormones, let me know what I should try. It doesn't matter if it's skincare or hair care products. Just let me know. I will look into it um, or any other skincare products in general, hair care products in general. Um, let me know and I will look into those. I want to make sure that I give my honest um reviews on what products i personally use um or will or normally try to use i know for the past two and a quarter years since the pandemic started i've been using a lot of different products on my skin and hair um i kind of be calming down a little bit with the hair products but with the skin not really i haven't really calmed down as you can tell but other than that i'll be linking both my strong gram pages um uh, down below make sure to follow them hit the subscribe button the bell button i'll be back for more stay safe and stay tuned guys